Good afternoon, I'm Anne-Marie Laflame and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. We're following two deadly crashes today as two drivers were, were killed on 696 eastbound just west of Woodward. State police say that both drivers got out of their cars to exchange information following a small accident. They were then struck by a car and killed. Now police are warning everyone to move away from traffic following another crash. Another person was killed a second in critical condition after a crash on I-94 near Middle Belt. That was near Metro Airport. And it's getting easier for Wayne County Community College students to transfer credits to four-year colleges in Michigan. The college district signed transfer agreements with 25 universities in Michigan, including biology, business, criminal justice, and psychology. But they are requiring courses for certain majors to be completed while students are enrolled in community college. The vice chancellor says this helps ease potential barriers students may face when trying to further their education. And more students in Detroit will be exposed to music and arts thanks to a new partnership. Today, the Detroit Public Community Schools District announced it's working with 24 arts organizations across the Detroit area. The goal is to funnel resources into the Detroit School of Arts Pathway Initiative, which is designed to make the Detroit School of Arts the premier arts school in the Tri-County area. All right, let's get a check of your forecast now with Mike Taylor. We're going to have some quiet conditions for today, even some peaks of sun. That'll help us climb to a high of 39 degrees, but big changes underway for your Wednesday. Not so much for the first half, but for Wednesday night. That's when snow, snow moves in and temperatures are going to drop. Most of that snow will fall Thursday morning, so it could slow you down. Then after that, the colder air moves in for Valentine's Day with a high of just 20 degrees after a 6 degree start. All right, Mike, thanks so much. Well, the issue of diversity will be at the center of tonight's school board meeting in Celine. The meeting is a response to a disturbing encounter between two fathers that went viral. One father speaking up about his son's struggles with racism in the district and another dad asking why he didn't stay in Mexico. Of course, we will be there for you and we will continue to follow that on WXYZ.com. That's where the news is always on. And of course, don't forget to download our 7 Action News mobile app. I'm Anne-Marie LaFlame. Have a great day.